Ooh, ooh, <laughs> ooh. I'm gonna sit, I, what? Stop, 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 stop. Hey guys, welcome back. So I have got a really fun get ready with me video for y'all today, doing this look right here using all products from Laura Geller. She was so incredibly generous and sent me two huge boxes filled with her beautiful, beautiful makeup. So I definitely wanted to do some videos playing with those products. So thank you to her for sending those boxes my way. So, so kind of her. I love her line. So I was really excited about these products and to jump in and play with them. So this is the look that I'm going to be doing today. Kind of ended up being this, I don't know, sort of like rosy pinky eye look with a kind of more rosy burgundy lip color. I love how it came together. So that's what we're going to be doing today on camera. If you are new here, my name is Leslie. Welcome. I love to do get ready with me's favorites, new with the drugstore, review videos, empties, some fashion content, just a lot of fun stuff here on my channel. So if you're new, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button and stuck around for a while. I'd love to have you here on my channel. So yeah, we're going to be playing with some Laura Geller products and doing this makeup look together. So let's get to it. Okay. So I already applied some moisturizer. So now I'm going to start with some spackle, the spackle skin perfecting primer. I'm going to use the mattify kind of in my T zone. Sort of concentrate this right in that area because that's where I get the oiliest and I also have the most defined pores. That's a really nice texture to it. I was trying to think of how I would describe this. It's almost kind of silky, but soft is how I would describe it, which is a strange word for describing a skincare product or a um, primer type product, but it just, it feels soft on the skin smoothing and soft. Okay, next I'm going to use the original champagne glow and I'm going to put this kind of on the outsides of my face just to give a little bit of sort of dimension and glow to my face. So especially kind of on my cheekbones and around in here because I want to keep this area more matte but then give some kind of glow on my cheekbones and out here. Wow, I can definitely see a difference. I don't know if you can, but I feel like my pores look minimized and my skin just sort of looks, I don't know, a little bit more perfected, ready for makeup. I'm impressed. Okay, for foundation, I'm gonna use this product. So I've already tried this out and I really, really like this. I can't remember the last time I have used a cream compact type foundation. So I tried this out and I'm so impressed with this. I like this a lot. This is the Timeless Skin Cream Compact Foundation. And I think light is my best color match. Um, I also have fair and that one looks like it would be pretty close too, but I think the tone of this one is more kind of um, neutral tone. So I think this is probably my, better, my best match. So anywho, let's put some of this on my face. I'm just gonna use the sponge that comes in the compact. So it's literally a cream foundation in a compact. So I'm just going to take this and go like this around my face and apply it. And you're going to see how quickly this perfects my skin. And it reminds me why I used to love this kind of a product. It's really fast. Hopefully you can see just how quickly and nicely this is applying to the skin. I mean, so pretty, so fast. I would describe this finish as more kind of satin matte. Let me see what it says on the back. It says this creamy non-drying formula delivers skin perfecting benefits for mature skin while providing intense hydration and flawless coverage. Formulated with vitamin E and evening primrose oil for all day moisture and algae extract for added radiance and protection from age spots and sun damage. Apply using a foundation brush or the included sponge, buff into skin starting at the center of the face and working outward. Free from talc, parabens, phthalates, mineral oils, sulfates, and gluten. And it's cruelty free. I like this a lot. I mean, this is just easy. To me, this seems easy, fast, and pretty looking on the skin. Now for some eyeshadow primer, I'm gonna use the Spackle Skin Perfecting Waterproof Eye Primer. 
and this is in the shade Fair Light. So it's a brush applicator kind of a packaging and you just click it up to get the product. So I'm just gonna apply some of this. Oh, this is nice, cause then you get, oh, I like the idea of this. So an eyeshadow primer, but with some coverage to it. That's nice. I like the texture on that too because it has good coverage to it, um, but it didn't feel too greasy, but it also didn't feel too dry where it was dragging on my eyes. So kind of a silky, um, creamy sort of a texture. Really nice texture on it. So just some info on this. It says this waterproof eye primer enhances the vibrancy and longevity of your shadows and prevents creasing. Comfortable and lightweight, the smooth formula color corrects the lids and under eye area. Oh to, uh, let's see, an under eye area be gone any discoloration or darkness in one swipe. Wear it alone for natural balanced look or underneath eye makeup for a flawless application. Okay, time for brows. I'm gonna use this product, the Sculpt and Stay Waterproof Brow Pencil and Gel. It says flexible formula, natural finish. So I think I'm gonna use a little combination of blonde and then also taupe. Let me show you the product so it is an angled sort of a brow product and then there is a brow gel at the bottom i like that you get kind of a two in one so i'm going to start with um blonde and then i think i'm going to add a little bit of taupe in kind of certain areas to give a little bit more dimension to my brows so this is one of those kind of angled brow pencils where it's going to be fast. That's the nice thing I like about a product like this is that it's not a micro. Um, so it's just faster. You might not get quite as much precision with it, but I tend to grab for these sort of products over a micro pencil because it's quicker. So there is blonde. I think that's a really good match for me. Very natural, not over the top. I think it matches my brow color pretty, or my brow and my hair color pretty closely. So now I'm just gonna use a little bit of taupe, I think kind of right along the bottom, just for a little bit more, I don't know, just kind of to play with it. I think that's why. I just like to play with makeup. So we're gonna use taupe also. I think this works nicely. It applied nicely, didn't drag, but wasn't too creamy. Just kind of a, a really nice texture to it. So I'm gonna use the gel part of the blonde. How fun is this eyeshadow palette? This is what I'm gonna use today. The Nothing But Neutrals 31 Baked Eyeshadows. So beautiful, so many pretty colors in here. I am excited. Okay, so what I'm gonna, oh, let's see, where do I put this? I, this is gonna fall somewhere unless I put it. Where do I put this? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start out with Wind. I'm gonna take some of that on a fluffy brush and apply that all over my lid, just as kind of a base shade. Kind of already have that though with the eyeshadow primer since it has pigment to it. That's nice. This is just kind of out of habit, what I always do. Okay, now I'm gonna use some of Bark on a kind of crease brush. Tap off my brush, actually I just kind of shook it. And then I'm gonna apply this into my crease and transition area and build this up. That blended really easily. I love that color, honestly. You could just put on some liner and mascara and there's your eye look right there. That'd be so pretty even by itself. But I'm gonna keep playing because I love makeup. So I'm gonna use some of Tornado Next, on a kind of a crease brush, but a little bit smaller, and apply this more on the outer part of my lid and over into my crease a little bit. So pretty. Okay, what do I want to use? There are so many colors in here that look so beautiful. I'm drawn to this one. Ooh, and I'm drawn to this one. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna get some of North Star right there on kind of a, I don't even know what this is, a shadow brush of some kind. This is from, it's an Amazon brush. I'm gonna use some of this Spackle Mist Restore Coconut Water and spray some of that 
on my brush and apply this onto my lids and build up this color. Ooh, that spray smells really good. Wow. Ooh, that smells good. I pretty much always use sparkly baked shadows or metallic baked shadows with a setting spray. I just love the kind of amped up color. Um, I've done that for years, so I pretty much always use a metallic or a sparkly baked shadow with a setting spray. I love this palette. Can I just say, I love this. This is so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna take some of, let me get a smaller brush. I'm gonna use this Moda Pro brush and get some of Cliff. That one right there and get that all over my brush and I'm gonna set I what I'm gonna spray it with some setting spray again and then apply this on the inner third or so of my lid oh y'all I'm gonna reach for this palette a ton I can just tell the colors in here and the baked formula this is right up my alley and these colors beautiful Gonna use some of Wind again on kind of a fluffier shadow brush and clean up my brow bone. So I totally meant to use this as kind of a base under those shadows, but clearly I was super excited to play with this palette, so I forgot. Um, but let me just show you a quick little swatch of it. I swatched it on my hand. This is the Kajal Longwear Eyeliner in Petal Pink Coal. Really pretty kind of like dusty champagne pink. I have used these liners from her before and I really, really like them. They're really versatile too. They're kind of a chubbier sort of an eyeliner. So you can use this as a liner, an all over lid color, just to get you out the door quick, sort of an eye product. You can use it on your lower lash line. You can use it as a base for um, powder shadows or whatever. So just lots of different things that you can use it for. Nice texture to it. I love these. So I totally meant to use this one because this is a really pretty color but I forgot. But just so you know, I love this. I'll try to remember to use one of these in a future video for sure because they really are good. For liner, I'm gonna use this one. This is the Simple Strokes Dual Ended Eyeliner. It says, line your eyes your way. And I'm gonna use the bronze color. So it looks like it has two sides to it. Let me swatch these real quick so we can look at this. So one side is a pretty browny color. And then the other side, I bet it's going to be more, oh, it's darker. Okay, so one side is darker, and then one side is a little bit lighter. So there you go. So what do I want to do? It looks like the darker side has some more, well, I think it just, I can just see it more because it's darker. So they both have kind of a bronzy sort of a tint to them. So I'm going to start with the lighter side, and first start with that. Okay, so there is the lighter side. So now I'm gonna use just a little bit of the deeper side, um, kind of more on the outer part. And I'm lifting up just a little bit to kind of lift up my eyes. So the darker side does seem to have a thicker, not quite as creamy sort of a texture to it. Because a lot of times long wearing liners kind of feel like that a little bit. Okay, and I'm trying to scrub this off of my hand with not a lot of success, so seems long wearing. Same with that uh, Cole Kajal. There you go. I'm using a like a skincare wipe, and this is not coming off. This is taking multiple rounds and lots of bracelet jingling to get off. Okay, for mascara. So y'all know how picky I am with mascara. So let's see. Um, they were so sweet and sent me two different ones: the Everyday Excellence Defining Mascara and the Love Your Body Volumizing Mascara. Oh, I love that name. Okay, I'm gonna start with the Everyday Excellence. I'm guessing I usually don't go for kind of like subtle mascaras, but I want you to be able to see what this looks like. So I'm gonna apply this one first, and I'm guessing I'm probably gonna wanna follow up with the Volumizing Mascara. So this one says Full Fan Effect, um, Ultra Creamy Buildable Jet Black Mascara. That gives intense length and definition. Separates, defines, and coats every single lash for instant eye-opening results without the clumps. I like the brush on this. Good shape to the brush. It's actually really pretty. It um, gives like a fluttery lash look. 
but still gives some pretty natural volume, but a little bit of volume too. I really like how this is looking at the base of my lashes too. It's really kind of grabbing every lash and defining it, which makes the lash line look thicker. So I like that a lot. So there is that. That definitely gave a lot more definition than I was expecting for it to be kind of an everyday sort of mascara. So I still, I really like that. I mean, that's, I think it's pretty and it seems like it would, um, it was building on itself with the second coat. So I imagine that you could just keep building and building on this. But I do want to try this volumizing mascara as well. The pink packaging is super cute. I love that. So here is this one. So uh, kind of not as pointy at the end, but still a thicker sort of a one. Let me get my compact so I can actually see well. Yeah, I can tell this is definitely a thicker formula to it, which I like these kind of thick mascara formulas. They definitely give a lot of volume. This feels like a drier kind of a formula. The other one feels, I wouldn't say it's a wet formula, but this one just feels drier than the other one, which a lot of times I go for that. Um, but I'm actually support, well, that's pretty together. I like them together. But I actually think if I had to pick one, I think I like the Everyday Excellence. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that one. Yeah, those are pretty together, but I, I think my pick is this one, the Everyday Excellence. Okay, for concealer. So I tried these out the other day and I really, really like these. Again, I'm picky about concealer, but I enjoyed them both. So good. So I'm gonna start with the, the Ideal Fix Concealer. It says crease-free coverage, natural finish. Um, it says it's like a flat iron for your face. Yeah. Hide imperfections and fill in fine lines. Hello, smooth skin. Who doesn't want that? That sounds amazing. I'm trying to remember which color I used. I think I used this one, which is 100. 100. So I'm going to start with this one right here. So it is a thicker kind of a doe foot applicator. So just going to get a little bit of this and put this right on the inner corner of my eyes and blend it in with a concealer brush. And that just has a really nice texture to it. Um, I would say smoothing and forgiving. I'm gonna put just a little bit in a couple spots on my face. I might need to use the other color for that. This is a little bit lighter than my skin tone, so good for under eyes, but I think it's still working for the rest of my face too. But I, the other color I have, I believe is 150. I'm gonna take some of 150 and apply this around my nose and a little bit on my chin. That's really nice. And I just got really close to the mirror to check and I think it is very smoothing and forgiving on the skin. So that's what I'm looking for in a concealer. So next I'm gonna use this one, the Real Deal Concealer, Advanced Serious Coverage. Um, it says it hides blemishes and other hard to conceal skin imperfections, yet is gentle enough to use to cover delicate under eye circles. Our new advanced formula is packed with antioxidants and nourishing skin loving ingredients like vitamin E that protect and condition your complexion. Simply dab on a small amount where needed, a little goes a long way. So it says full coverage, fresh finish. I'm gonna use the shade Porcelain and I'm just gonna dab a little bit of this. That's what it looks like. So it is a squeeze tube applicator and packaging. So I'm gonna get just a little bit of this and dab this on my under eyes and blend this in. I really like the texture of this one too. It is still really creamy and forgiving on the skin, but it's thicker with more coverage. So I think it just depends on what you're looking for, what you're going for. Um, I don't know if I, I was gonna say, I don't know if I could choose. I think it just kind of depends. Honestly, this is kind of what I do with my under eyes is I use kind of a lighter, thinner sort of a concealer first for more kind of, I don't know, I don't wanna say all over coverage, but to cover a larger area, and then I go back in with a more full coverage, 
concealer in the areas that I want more. So I honestly probably will use both of these in the exact way I used them just now, but I think they're both great individually too. Now I'm gonna set all this. So I'm gonna use a powder foundation. This is really, you know, formulated to be used by itself, but a lot of times I use powder foundations as setting powder, so that's what I'm gonna do today. This is the Baked Double Take Versatile Powder Foundation, and I'm gonna use the shade Fair. It says, our long-wearing baked powder foundation delivers around the clock full coverage and a breathable finish. Baked on terracotta tiles for 24 hours and hand finished by Artisan Italian Artisans. The blend of special silicones and spherical powders allows for maximum movement and facial expression without cracking or fading. This weightless creamy foundation works and plays as hard as you do. Apply dry for medium to buildable coverage. Apply wet for a more serious coverage and finish. So I'm gonna use it dry with a little small brush first in my T-zone, and then I'll use a fluffier brush for the rest of my face. This is looking smooth. I will probably use this more over a liquid foundation. I will probably in the future use um, the Baked Balance and Brighten. Why did I close that? I need to use it on the rest of my face. The Baked Balance and Brighten uh, powder foundation for setting the cream foundation. I don't think you need to set the cream foundation, but I'm used to using powders. So I'll probably use that one. Seems a little lighter. This one seems like more coverage. So I will probably use this one. Since the cream foundation already has good coverage to it, I will use the Baked Balance and Brighten on top of that one probably. And then I will use, um, I'm getting lost with my thoughts. This guy, I used this the other day. I've used this before and I really like this foundation. The Quench Intent Hydrating Foundation. I'll use this with the double take just because this is lighter, thinner, and then this is thicker, if that makes sense. You know, I don't need two thicker formulas together, but that's what I did today. And I still think it looks really nice, but just FYI, probably in the future, that's how I will use the product. Okay, let's finish the eyes. I'm gonna use some of Canyon on kind of a smaller pencil brush and I'm gonna run this along my lower lash line, just lightly. And then I'm gonna use some of the Everyday Excellence Mascara on my lower lashes. I'm really excited to use this bronzer. This one looks really pretty. This is Roman Holiday. I love her bronzers. Um, I use the Fair color a lot, um, but I wanna try this one. Roman Holiday, the Baked Bronze and Brighten. Look how beautiful that looks. I mean, even in the packaging, that's gorgeous. So, so beautiful. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this. This looks like a glowier, lighter sort of a color, so I may follow it with Tahitian Glow. We'll see. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna need to. This is looking beautiful. I love so many of her products, but her baked cheek products have to be my favorites because they just have the most beautiful, forgiving glow on the skin. They are just so smooth and flattering, brush hair flattering and just pretty looking. Just so pretty looking on the skin. So her blushes, her bronzers, the Baked Balance and Brighten, I mean, oh, they're just beautiful. I don't think I've ever used a cream blush from her, so I'm really excited to try this. This is the Timeless Skin Cream Compact Blush, and this is in Classic Rouge. Classic Rouge. To get it out of the packaging. Ooh, this feels nice. Pretty pinky shade. I was just thinking kind of a pinky sort of a look today is what I was thinking I was gonna go for. I'm gonna use a small stipple brush and get some of this on my brush. Oh, that's pigmented. Okay. FYI, pigmented blush, very pigmented. This is blending really effortlessly. It's not patchy looking. Doesn't look like it's disturbing my makeup underneath. I'm stippling it on. That's what I always do with a cream blush because technically you're not supposed to put a cream blush on top of a powder product. That's it. just in general. Well, you should really just put creams on top of creams and then finish with powders, but I do it all the time. 
it just you have to be a little a little careful with how you do it and sort of tweak your application style now i'm going to use a highlighter the baked original highlighter duo this is in french poodle and french almond i love her highlighters so let's see what this looks like Ooh. pretty softer not intense she definitely has more intense highlighters if you like more intense the baked gelato swirls are definitely more on the intense side her baked highlighters are kind of softer so i'm going to take the almond side first and apply that first then i'm going to take the what was the other one french poodle i think is the lighter color and apply that lighter higher <laughs> words are hard today Ooh, I love that one. That is so pretty. Mm, I am noticing a little bit of texture underneath my eyes, kind of right in here. Not as much on this eye, but more so over here and kind of a little bit of settling. And I know it's because I have, I was looking, four different products underneath my eyes. A pretty full coverage cream powder, cream compact foundation, a regular concealer, a full coverage concealer and a powder foundation that has really good coverage. So I have four different things underneath my eyes right now. Three of the four being pretty full coverage. So this is kind of a lesson in application. I was just wanting to play with all the things. So that's why I did that today. But on the norm, I would not do that. I kind of use more lighter coverage mixed with more full coverage. And just like I mentioned with the foundation earlier. So anyway, I think that's why that's happening. I'm almost positive. And the last step for lips, I think I'm going to end up doing, this looks like this is going to end up being kind of a pinky, red, berry sort of a lip color. So I'm going to use these two products right here. First off, the Modern Classic Waterproof Lip Liner. It says transfer proof performance, high coverage color. And I'm going to use the Beautiful Berry shade. Oh, this might end up being a little bit deeper. Let's see. Oh. I like the texture. I like this as I'm talking while I'm applying. Creamy sort of texture that you could totally fill in your lips with. It seems like that kind of a lip liner. I really like lip liners like that. And that is a beautiful berry shade. It says layer line. So long lasting color and precise definition for a beautifully full lip look. Smudge free and feather proof. The silky matte formula is infused with shea butter and candelila. Candelila wax to hydrate lips and reduce the signs of aging. Um, yeah. Okay. Next up, I'm going to use the Smart Pout Transfer Proof Lipstick. It says matte and moisturizing. And the shade I'm going to use is Clever. This is cute. Cute packaging. I like the name of it. This is what it looks like. So here we go. Oh, this smells good. Hmm. Hmm. It has a silky sort of a feeling on the lips and that's really flattering looking not accentuating dry patches seemingly smoothing the lips it looks like to me mm, I like that a lot okay you guys so here is the finished look I like this a lot okay so standout products let me start just kind of running through Really like the cream compact foundation a lot. That seems like that's going to be just a quick get you out the door kind of foundation. I really, really like that. And I feel like it, there's not many options like this out there. So another reason I like that. Um, I really like the full coverage concealer. This has really nice coverage to it. Um, love the eyeshadow palette. So, so pretty. Like that is definitely one of my standout favorites. Of course, I love the bronzer. I love her baked cheek products. So I love, love, love that. The highlighters are beautiful. So forgiving. On the cheeks, the cream blush was super pretty too. And I really, really like this lip color. That's a beautiful color and I really like the formula on it. So I would say those are my standout favorites. Okay guys, so that wraps up this video. So hope that you really enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what some of your favorite products are from Laura Geller's line. Clearly I love her line, so I would love to know some of your favorites from her line. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.